Last year, the U.S. government shut down the Silk Road, which was one of the first and one of the biggest illegal Bitcoin-based online enterprises ever. Uh, Silk Road was the brainchild of a local Bay Area entrepreneur, Ross Ulbricht, or Ulbricht. He went by the nickname the Dread Pirate Roberts. He was a chemical engineering student uh, that decided to start his own Bitcoin business when Bitcoin first hit the market in 2008-2009. He put together a team of anonymous programmers to build the Silk Road. Over the course of two years, he managed to make $500 million. And then again, uh, the Dread Pirate Roberts got a little too cocky and took a little too many risks and eventually got busted by the US government. He's now awaiting trial for all his crimes. And the US government has seized many, many, many of the Bitcoins that were in his possession. Recently, the Justice Department announced that they're putting up 30,000 Bitcoin seized from the Silk Road, up for sale, up for auction. This is the equivalent of $17 million approximately, give or take. The fascinating thing is this. After they made their announcement, Bitcoin prices dropped fast by like $60, which even for this volatile cryptocurrency is a lot. Uh, what is going on? How is it related to the government's announcement? Uh, multiple theories. One is that investors are purposefully pushing prices down to make sure that the government makes a little, as little money as possible because uh, the main Bitcoin philosophy is very anti-authoritarian, anti-government. And the other uh, theory, which is kind of uh, relates to this one as well, is that investors are purposefully pushing the market price down so they can buy up those Bitcoins on the cheap and then when the price readjusts itself, they will have made a very, very tidy profit. Either way, I believe the government is seriously mishandling how this auction is taking place. They're allowing themselves to get manipulated by the Bitcoin markets. They're causing uh, investors in the Bitcoin markets to lose money. And in my honest opinion, at this point in time, the government is simply incompetent to everything that's cryptocurrency related. Now, I believe as uh, these currencies evolve and as, uh, let's say, cryptocurrency lobby becomes more prominent in, in government, their level of competence will, will adjust.